Hello. In today's video, let's discuss one more table manipulation function called as summarize function. First, let us go to the documentation page, review the syntax, and then try to implement it with the help of an example. Here is the definition and the syntax. Returns a summary table for the requested totals over a set of groups. And we have the syntax. It takes four parameter, the table, any DAX expression that returns a table of data, group by column name, the name, the name given to a total or summarized column enclosed in double quotes, and expression itself. And the return value we get is a table. Let's go to PBI with the help of an example. Let's see how we can use the summarize function. Here is the PBI and I have two tables, product and sales. And it has one too many relationship. If I go to the data, this is how the product table looks like. It has product ID and product name. And the sales table has product ID, sales month and revenue. Since it has a one to many relationship because the product ID is repeated several times, the same product ID is repeated thrice for the month of Jan, Feb and March. Similarly, product ID 1002 is repeated thrice. Let's assume that we want to create a table with just product ID and the total of revenue and we want to ignore the sales month. So we can use a summarize function. So click on new table here and call this as summarize example equal to use the summarize function. The table name, I want to use a sales table here. So I'll be using sales. I want to group by product ID, sales product ID, and then I'll be giving some name for the total of revenue. So I'll call this as total revenue. And then I want to do a sum of revenue. So I'll use a sum of revenue. And hit enter. I should get a new table with just product ID and total revenue. So this is how I can use a summarize function. And this is how I can use in, it in a table, in a new table, but I can also use the same function in measures. So before I go to measures, let me delete this table here. So now I have only product and sales table. Now let me go back to report here. And then let's say I want to create a measure here using the summarize function click on new measure call this as example equal to use the same function summarize summarize the table by sales sales table and group by sales product id i should give some name to the expression so i'll call this as total revenue and then expression is sum of sales revenue so i just created a table here but i won't if i hit enter it will throw me an error because i should always combine this summarize with other function like sum x etc so let me hit enter as you can see it's throwing me an error so what i'll do is i'll add a sum x function here sum x table is the table which i just created here and the expression is the name of the expression which i provided to this summarize table function so i'll call this back total revenue and now if i hit enter i should be getting the right numbers so bring this to the values I'm getting the right results. And this is how we can use a summarize function in PBI. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.